updates. I got a good boatload of updates for y'all. So before we get into the most feared reveals, the team captains, uh, some giveaways, I have a quick MCS update for y'all. I actually have an ill update on the John Elway as well. We'll get into that right after these updates. Sick update uh, on the Elway. I think that a lot of y'all didn't know that you'll like. I think that's really cool. Um, but let's get right into it. Um, first things first, I think we have a big W to start the day, y'all. The users who have not been able to enter field pass, for users that have not been able to enter the field pass, the team deployed a fix this morning that should be allowing most of y'all to access the field pass. And you know what? I was in that state. I was in the state too. I was getting the error message. I was stuck at level 16. I was hitting up the team. I'm like, yo, what is going on? They've been working hard on it. And uh, from what I can tell, I logged in this morning. I was going to get y'all a screenshot to show. I was going to show y'all that I'm in the same state. I got into the field pass just fine, which was awesome. Uh, so if you guys haven't checked that yet, uh, go home when you you know get a chance. If you've been locked out of the season two field pass, uh, go ahead and check that out. I think you guys should be good now. I think most of y'all should be good. I know I'm good and I'm seeing a lot of chatter on social of other people being good now too, uh, being able to get past that demonic error screen. It was like the exorcist every time I saw that screen. It was just very sad, very demonic. Uh, th they did the exorcism. It's gone. The demon is gone, hopefully. Uh, so that's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Um, field pass rewards progress, not tracking. Uh, now that you guys can access the field pass, the team's going to investigate if the users were able to make progress in their field pass while not having access. I was trying to tell based off of mine. I couldn't really tell. I didn't think I was, but uh, they will look into that. Um, the next one, the competitive pass. I know my nephew's been hitting me up on this one a lot. Like, yo, where's my CP at, Unc? The team is aware the competitive pass is not tracking correctly in some scenarios. The team is now shifting additional resources to that now that the issue with the field pass has been resolved. So the team knows that there's some issues going on with the competitive pass. We, we want our CP. Nothing worse than you, you body a solo. You body, a, you know, an online win. You don't get your CP. Not a great feeling. They know that. They're going for it. They're going for it. So I promise y'all they're working on that. The next big one, and I know this is a big one for sure, is the missing coin rewards. This one's been going on for a while. The team is still investigating in a solution for the coin rewards. As soon as we have an update on that, the team will message out the Madden NFL Direct. I know you guys get, sometimes you don't want to hear that, hey, we're aware, we're investigating, we'll message out, but that's the reality of the situation. I can vouch that they are looking into it. That there's someone actively there trying to figure it out. And, you know, I, I, I don't say I'd rather them take their time, but you do want them to make sure they get that right. When you're talking about all those coins amongst the masses, um, you know, that could have a lot of different impacts on the game. So hopefully they get that done. They get it done soon and they do it right. Um, but they are working on it for sure. The other one, uh, and this one I hit as well. We all hit it, the Monster Maker Objectives. Uh, so we knew that Zeke and Claypool uh, were having some issues um, with one of their objectives. Those got removed down. Um, and now the team is looking to get the fourth objective back up some point today, I believe, for both of those players. So right now, last time I checked, they might have already addressed it. Uh, Zeke and Chase, they removed the broken objectives. So they only had three instead of four. Hopefully, Zeke and Chase should be getting their four, um, their fourth one pretty soon. So uh, stay on the lookout for that for sure. Uh, recently addressed issues. So if you're experiencing any of these issues, please contact EA Help uh, because the, they should be addressed. They should be addressed. Users being blocked from solo battles. I know I can get back into my solo battles. The team's looking to realign the solo battle schedule after addressing an issue so they will refresh at the normal 10.30 a.m. Eastern time next Monday. So not this week, next week, solo battles back to your regularly scheduled schedule. Does that make sense? We'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. Trophy packs. I've been seeing a lot of people get their trophy packs. A lot of coins out in the street. I'm happy. Uh, this seems to be trending in a good direction. 
Uh, last Thursday, the team implemented a successful fix for the trophy packs, not granting after winning a Super Bowl in head-to-head squads or seasons. Yesterday, impacted players should have received all previously earned trophy packs and an additional trophy pack due to the delay. There you go. There you go. That's big. That's big. The trophy packs was a big one. So hopefully y'all got some trophy packs. It, it rained on y'all yesterday. If, if it didn't, make sure you contact EA Help if you feel like you are missing out on some. But for the most part, from what I'm seeing, people should be straight, which is, which is awesome. Uh, hoping to grant soon. Okay, okay, nice. All right, so there's stuff that we're hoping to get y'all taken care of. The Gridiron, Gridiron Guardian House Rules rewards will be going out today. Today. All right, it's about time. We'll take it, though. Thank you. That, that's a good update. That's what we wanted to hear. Today is always a nice word to hear for sure. Excuse me, I got the, the sniffles. Players who achieved level 20 on the Gridiron Guardians House Rules Rewards track will be receiving an extra 86 OVR Gridiron Guardians player. Thank you. Yes, we, you know, we waited a while. Players who achieved anything below the level 20 reward track will receive an extra 83 OVR. These additional rewards are due to the delay in fixing the issue and getting these rewards out to you. So there we go. I'm not reading the chat, y'all. I've been going back and forth. Hopefully there's some W's in there for y'all. Um, doing the best we can with the updates. I assure y'all the team is working hard. I see it every day. And uh, not, you know, to say that you guys haven't been frustrated as well. I've been there. Uh, I've been a consumer. I, I know that feeling as well. Uh, so I, I understand your guys frustration, but I also know that the team is working hard So I'm just kind of there in the middle and I've been there both I, I've been involved with Madden for 18 years competitive player Hardcore consumer for seven years been with EA for 11 years almost 12 years actually um, so, so I get it. I get it y'all um, We're doing our best. Uh, uh, we didn't want to just give y'all updates on only Mutt. So I do also have some gameplay updates I wanted to give people too, because I know the mud stuff is very important, but I don't want us to act like we're being oblivious to uh, gameplay and franchise and things of that nature. I don't have any franchise updates uh, today, but I do have some gameplay stuff because uh, I, I did reach out to the team and they were nice enough to give me some of these updates and we've been working with them uh, on this stuff. So we've heard feedback around the following gameplay areas and just want to confirm that the gameplay dev team has been made aware and is investigating all of these areas and more. Just because I don't say it here doesn't mean they're not aware and invest, but these are the ones that have been uh, coming across my desk most often and that I've been seeing. So first, uh, aggressive catching effectiveness, uh, particularly I know a lot of it's with the high ball, but aggressive catch effectiveness, uh, the cover one zero and man coverage effectiveness, uh, and the tip interceptions tuning. With the tipped interceptions tuning, it can be a lot of it's the secondary guys playing volleyball, not catching uh, their tipped interceptions. While well, the offensive players will catch them, or the D linemen will catch them. Uh, the team is aware uh, and looking into that. And, and no, this stuff's not easy. Like, obviously, aggressive catch tuning and cover one zero tuning. They kind of work in tandem with each other. So gameplay has to look at both of them very carefully. Like, for example, if you tune aggressive catches, the man stuff becomes way more powerful. So you, you got to make sure you do it right. You can't just say fix aggressive catches. You got to go in. What is the issue with aggressive catches? Uh, how, you know, is it too accurate too often? Uh, why are the defenders not matching an interaction in a lot of these cases? And why are defenders running? The, so you have to go in, you have to find the bugs, uh, and you have to be strategic with it. You can't just go and just start hitting knobs. But the point is, they are aware of this stuff. They are looking into it. I've seen some of the conversations. I love where their head is at, where they are going. Um, so definitely looking at that stuff amongst other things. And I do need to set expectations. Just because I say that they're aware and they're looking into it, that doesn't mean these specific things will be addressed in the very next title update. It doesn't mean that they won't be addressed. Uh, it all depends on where things, you know, land and pan out. You have to investigate it the right way. You have to find the core problems and then you need to find correct solutions. And I know that that's what the de uh, dev team is committed to doing. So hopefully that helps y'all. I just wanted to make sure to give y'all um, that feedback for real. Cause, uh, you know, it, it's not just all about mud. 
there's other stuff that we get feedback on too and you know want to make sure we're giving y'all that transparency when we can and i look forward to those fixes the tip interception one came out of nowhere i can't stand some of the volleyball stuff that i've been seeing so i'm, I'm happy about that and obviously the aggressive catch and the cover one zero stuff is a, a tough balance but it's good to know that they're going to try to do what they can there uh next got a tough little update for y'all on this john elway y'all we saw the team diamond champion we saw the elway he's crazy but he's even crazier than you thought the team diamond champion elway gets two custom ability buckets not just one he gets two custom ability buckets so you can stack any of the following abilities you can get Three AP Hot Route Master instead of five AP, which it usually is for a field general. Two AP Set Feet Lead instead of it being three. One AP Gunslinger instead of it being three. And one AP Fearless instead of it being four. And you don't got to pick one of those. You can pick two. He gets two. The first player with two custom ability buckets. That's crazy, y'all. That's crazy. So for th what? Three AP, you can get Fearless and Set Feet Lead. Our 5 AP, you can get Hot Route Master and Set Feet Lead. Gunslinger for 1 AP. So I thought that was crazy uh, with the John Elway. So he gets Slinger 1 release. He gets a discounted Hot Route Master, discounted Set Feet Lead, discounted Gunslinger, discounted Fearless, and two buckets where you can double dip on those discounts. He's got the Slinger 1 release, like I said. All 32 team chems. It's like 4 OVR better than every other player. So this Elway is crazy. This Elway is crazy. The custom ability bucket to me is huge W. Huge W. The fact that he gets two of them, it's like, whew. That is insane. Uh, so what do we got next, y'all? What do we got next here for y'all? Oh, team captains. <laughs> Let's get into the team captains for y'all, shall we? Uh... Let me get to my trusty graphics here. Okay, so uh, when Team Diamonds goes live today, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, you'll be able to upgrade your 88 OVR Team Captains to 91. You can do so by grinding, what do we got? Team Diamond Challenges, Milestone Rewards, and include three Team Captain Upgrade Tokens, allowing you to bump you can do so grinding the Team Diamond Challenges. Milestone Rewards will include three Team Captain Upgrade Tokens, allowing you to bump that item up to 91. And I got their ratings for y'all with the 91. So nice. So within the Team Diamond Challenges, not only will you earn progress there, uh, you will also get your Team Captain Upgrade Tokens as well, which is pretty nice. Here's your first one. I got Keyshawn Johnson. We got Keyshawn at, at 91. Uh, here's a look at our boy, Eric Allen. Let's take a look at Zonk. We got Zonka. And then we also have Sam Adams. There are your 91 team captains. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Pretty dope. So there you go. And remember, you will be able to get the tokens to level them up in the team uh, diamonds uh, set. In the team diamonds, uh, what's it called?